Greetings fellow travelers and cruisers, T5 the Traveler here with Becky the Truckee. We're going to show you the lunch buffet on board the MSC Seashore, a uh, beautiful mega ship from the MSC Cruise Lines. I'll show you everything on the buffet. We'll do a few sample bites. I'm um, nursing a sty in my left eye, so if you see that or it looks a little weird, that's what's going on there. I'm trying to keep it clean and do the best I can with it, so please be patient on that one or kind in the comments if you would. Uh, in we go. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do a full walk around. I'll show you everything that there is to see. Then we'll get a couple of uh, table and some plates. Do some sample bites like we said and then join us it should be a good okay so you can get your plates and your and your silverware right there we'll just show you right as soon as you get into the gate they've got fresh baked bread here you've got several to choose from this looks like garlic bread maybe we'll try a little bit of that uh, that looks good this is the deep dish artisanal uh, pizza they have several options to choose from you can get cheese you can get onion you can get veggie I'm seeing some sausage down there and uh, it's really a nice buffet they always have friendly staff uh, working hard right there we'll push on up to the next session it's gonna be a little bit busy today uh, but we'll just try to poke in and see we've got some yellow rice we've got Malay Asian fish there is uh a chicken there they've got sauteed mushrooms broccoli and Cajun ribs they've got some salad options right here savory snacks that's red bliss potato salad they've got the Waldorf's sliced pastrami sweet provolone chopped Italian uh, quinoa almonds and Virginia ham there's some fresh fruits there I'm seeing pineapple cantaloupe and some others they've got some uh, Boston bricks and those look like oatmeal raisin cookies and some fruit of the fruit loops uh, uh, snacks marshmallow snacks I guess okay so we've got hot and sweet uh, we've got uh, uh, a little bit of those pork tamales right there it looks like we've got cheese and uh, some turkey uh, on, a, on a bun there toasted they've got guacamole and some sour cream they've got those uh, thick pizzas uh, cooking away right uh, back there he's making them fresh uh, right away and then we'll carry on with the buffet okay so we just turned left there past that section it's really in like four big square sections and then they've got a couple of uh, slips in between in the middle and you can come off the central elevator so here's going to be your coffee station you can always have fresh coffee any time on the ship regular coffee decaffeinated coffee they've got uh, hot water for tea so if you want to make your selections you can get different teas right here they've got some cranberry orange juice pineapple juice that sort of thing right there if you want to get some ice or cups it's going to be right over here and then you can get fresh water or ice at that station right there up next is going to be the bar service area we've had several very nice drinks here they've got really friendly staff and they do a great job here we've had mocha lattes cappuccinos you can get bottled water here you can get the distilled water if you like it they make all the fresh coffee if you want a double espresso you can get it you can also get some beers there i had a stella artos they've always have heineken on tap they've got blue moon and they have to have some wine selection so if you've got that drink package this is a great station to check out uh, just across from that they've got the hot eats so if you're looking at the midnight buffet this section right here we'll cover it uh later tonight but it's got burgers fries cheese toppings they've got uh tomato lettuce onion uh that sort of thing you can get it right there and then they also have uh hot dogs and some other items you can always get the fresh meats and cheeses they have them on the bar all over the place and i'm seeing more garlic bread over here and this one is that uh turkey okay so then the french fries are down there in the tub we'll push back through and i'll show you where the hot uh cut meats are and that's going to be the so the next section is going to be the destinations they've got food allergy uh, information at the top there if you'd like this is malaysian tonight so that's going to be the tandoori chicken they've got yellow rice they've got fried tilapia here they've got those sauteed mushrooms uh, sauteed cabbage spinach ravioli and spiced pork loin uh, back over here you've got cheese this they've got more burgers here and they do have the carving station it looks like turkey is the cut of the day that looks really good we might try a little bit of that and then if you want to have them make you a taquito or something uh, fresh you can pick out some options right here and I think they'll prepare it for you so that's a that's a nice dish. okay next section just around the corner if you're looking for those salads chicken salad egg salad tuna salad you can get it shaved ham they've got fresh potato chips had some of those last night they were good they had some kettle chips last night super good okay so up next is going to be desserts they are serving some ice cream down here so that's a fruit loops treats that we saw there earlier oh boy that chocolate cappuccino looks good i'm a sucker for chocolate as you all know they've got vanilla cream cake looks like she's cutting some red velvet cake there i'm seeing uh, oatmeal cookies and uh, cream cake right there so that is a, a nice selection uh, of desserts and then the ice cream stations right here there's usually a line but there's not too bad just a few people you can get vanilla or swirl or chocolate and we did actually do a uh, ice cream review uh, the other day so it doesn't look like this next section's up open this way so I'm gonna go back around to the front we'll show you that last section and then we'll get our plates and do a couple of sample bites all right stick with us
Okay, just back up through the middle, I wanted to point out that the pastry chef is back there working hard. Uh, you can watch him work right through those double day, uh, windows right over there. Up next, we're gonna show you where you can get the salad options. You've got several salad options. This is called Farmer's Green section. They have lots and lots of salad options. I'm seeing uh, carrots, you've got cucumbers, you've got onions, you've got peppers, you've got cheeses, you've got cauliflower. There are a few uh, cubed meats down here on the end. You can get some seeds for the top of your salad right there. The dressings are right there in the middle. And they have three types of lettuce, fresh romaine, mixed lettuce and uh, that you can get fresh whole fruits so if you're looking for some grapes or some apples you can do it right there they've got a hundred percent gluten-free options uh, right here if you're looking for something uh, bread wise with no gluten you can get it on that corner right there plates and forks are always available they have drinks over here so this is like a specialty drink it's usually like sangria with fruit uh, you can order it right here it's a ten dollar it's not included but if you have a onboard uh, uh, credit you can use it uh, for that in the in the restaurant right there another drink station off to the left That's going to be similar with those drinks that we've seen they have bay window seating all along the buffet We'll push up here because I want to show you where the kids section is I know a lot of people want to see what the kids food options are and this is uh, up towards the jungle pool area So this is the other far side of the buffet. It might have similar foods, but we'll see uh, Definitely want to see what the kids foods looks like and that's going to be right up here towards the jungle pool It's called family and kids. We'll try not to film any kids and and we'll turn that right back around and the desserts are going to be down here on the, the end they have those ones that look like little ice cream cones there they've got the fresh fruits there they've got whole fruits for the kids i'm seeing uh fish sticks pasta with cheese sauce grilled chicken breast we've got steamed green beans mashed potatoes and gravy and they do have an assortment of breads for the kids there they've got fresh baked bread smoked turkey sliced swiss they've got the chips right there they've got the uh the watermelon and they have families waiting in line right there they do have a little height restriction uh right here behind us so you need to be able to fit right under there and we'll give those people their privacy and let them enjoy their lunch but that's where the kids section is we'll push over here to the right and then we'll get those plates they've had wonderful bar service all over the ship anytime you want to get a drink uh you can get it over here is going to be the tex-mex creation so i'm seeing uh cheesy uh items they've got more of those tamales right there more of those same desserts that we've seen uh throughout it just kind of repeats as we go and then this is actually a different bar service station over here you can get your coca-cola uh, uh fountain drink or something like that bottle of water any of those they have more of that fresh fresh baked uh, deep dish pizza over here and then they have some other items you've got malaysian fish you've got fried tilapia and that's going to be very similar to the section that we showed you in the other so that's uh, going to wrap up the foods on the lunch buffet and we'll see you when we get to the table okay join us okay got back to the table with plate one what did you choose back in what did we get um i wanted the, the uh, yellow rice okay sauteed mushrooms yep. tilapia breaded got the tilapia uh, the steak quesadilla with some guacamole there okay and then just a little side salad um i think this is actually the Waldorf, uh, salad which one the Waldorf. I don't know if the I'm Waldorf. Oh, Waldorf, like the hotel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. All right, I got a similar thing. I just made a little salad. I did the spinach, the lettuce, everything, mixed it all in. I got a couple of grapes. So I grabbed that garlic bread that I wanted to try here. This is a tandoori chicken and yellow rice. That's like an Indian dish. This is the Indian uh, vegetarian option. I don't know how spicy this is, so I just got a little bit of it. This is um, sauerkraut. sauerkraut. Yeah, or cabbage, one of the two. A uh, little bit of uh, chicken there and the, the mushrooms and cool. We'll give it a try. We'll go in for some sample bites. What are you uh, What are you gonna try first? What do you think? Um, I think I mix it with the rice. Actually. Okay, you're gonna go with the yellow rice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna dip in to this tandoori chicken. Let's see if I can cut a good piece without making a huge mess. Oh, nice. Sometimes we do these. We'll get comments. Why did you make such a mess? I like, really try not to. It'd be as clean as clean as possible for everybody. Just uh, just for the samples, and we'll we'll finish our plates when we're forget them so go for that yellow rice and that's going to be that tandoori chicken looks fresh it's like it's grilled that sauce is not spicy it's like a sweet uh it's not a tomato it's not a tomato sauce it's a tandoori sauce and it's just a little bit uh it's got a little bit of a tang to it but it's really something you want to try for yourself it's actually kind of a a tough one to describe so are you gonna go for that tilapia? Yeah, I'm gonna cut up. I'm just gonna pick that garlic bread up and show you. It looked really good. I don't know how long it's been there, or if it's fresh or hot or what. We'll see. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's not real chewy. I'm liking that tilapia. Okay. 
or tilapia fish. Nice. They always have some nice options on the buffet. This is like a roast carrot and um, I think it's pork and carrots. We'll see how it is. Oh wow. Those carrots are really good. Uh, I know you don't like carrots, but you may try those yeah, carrots. Not the They're real flavor, soft. They got a lot of flavor to them. The mushrooms are really good. Nice. That's yeah, I'll go in. Flavor. I'll go in for a bite. It's sauteed mushrooms. That's why they look so dark. I wonder what kind of mushroom. Just the, the regular mushroom? Or? I'm going to try the tiny bite. Mm. It's still pretty good. It's good. It looks good. You got the steak quesadilla there? A bite of the steak quesadilla. Okay. This tandoori came with like a little pita bread. Let's see if I can cut a piece. Oh, I'm trying not to get you, Becky. I know, I'm kind of. <laughs> trying not to get you. I had a tough cut there, but that's that pita bread with the tandoori chicken. Just to give it a try. It's a little bit chewy. It's got all that um, that same sauce on top of it, though. Mm. Steak quesadilla is good. That is really good. That's a nice option. I may have to try that. A little bit a later. Bit the, the okay. I'm going to try the Indian um, vegetarian option. Um, forgive me, I, the name is uh, gone past me right here. But uh, let's give it a go and see how spicy it is. I don't even know what that is. It's good. It's it's like a, it's almost like hummus or something. Like a, like you, you put it on a little little pita and uh, like a little pita spread. It's not spicy. It's really good. So far, I'm very pleased. Yes. Uh, with the with the oh, lunch really buffet. Yeah. So I'm gonna go in for a bite of salad. Same. And just see, I may need to just cut it just a touch. Got a great here. Got a big tomato and a here. And a cucumber. I'll try to get a little bit of everything. And a pepper. This is gonna be a big salad bite. Forgive me. Just want to do a proper try here. So mm -hmm. here we go. Mm-hmm. It's good. Really good. It's really fresh. Yeah, everything. That tomato is really fresh. Good. The pepper is fresh. A yeah, sip of water. Man, I'm enjoying it. Okay. Yes. I gotta try the cabbage or sauerkraut. I'm not sure. You know what? I think it is cabbage. I think it's cabbage. Cabbage. I don't know why I said sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's cabbage. It's a good cabbage. Good cabbage. And I did actually grab a lot of it is uh, kids. Ham here. Oh, you got that you, you got yeah. the ham? I'll try the yellow rice while you're grabbing the ham. Mm -hmm. The yellow rice is good. It's not knocking my soft socks off or anything. I, I really like the uh, I like the steamed white rice the best I think. Yeah. So okay. And then all I got is a little grape here. I'm sure it's fresh. We'll just do a try. <laughs> mm -hmm. See down there, and it's good. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up plate number one. We'll probably do a second plate, and then usually we'll do a third dessert plate. We'll show you what the desserts look like. We usually get like two desserts each, and then just kind of split them uh, for a little trial to see uh, what we think of those. And uh, join us if you're enjoying it. Stick with us. We'll we'll have the second plate up soon. Okay, back with plate number two. What did you get, Becky? Yeah. Um, I went with uh, just some fruit there. Got the spinach ravioli, okay. a spicy curry chicken. Oh, all right. White rice, piece of broccoli. Um, some of their it's called deep dish margarita uh, pizza. pizza? That they have. Yeah. Nice. And then a turkey uh, focaccia. Okay. I went with a kind of a similar plate. I got the different New York style uh, pizza. Got a little cut of that tur fresh turkey with gravy over there, and then some cheesy bread. And then I've got an enchilada over here, uh, corn, uh, corn wrapped with a couple of tortillas. And then I did do a little bit of the guacamole and salsa down there. Uh, we'll just give it a try and see uh, see how it is. What are you gonna go in for first? I'm gonna try the, uh, the ravioli. Going for the ravioli. Okay. Alright, I think I'm going to start with the turkey. Just a little taste of home here. We have a lot of turkeys in Illinois. You can hunt them wild if you want. So, and turkey vultures. Good luck. So, uh, there's the turkey and gravy. Mm. It's good. It's real tender. It's a tender, tender turkey. What, what did you get there? Spinach wrap. Spinach wrap? It is really good. How is it? Tender? A little cheesy? 
definitely cheesy. Yeah, lots of okay. uh, lots of cheese there, but nice. It's good. Nice. I think I'm just gonna pick up the pizza. Just pick it up, fold it in half, and we'll give it a, a full bite. This is that Italian thin crust. It's really thin. It's like a New York style oven brick pizza. They make it fresh. It's always yeah. good. This is a real good slice too. Pizza's oh wow. You can eat a whole pie. You probably do over the course of the trip. Really good. I'm just gonna take a chip here, dip it in that guac salsa and uh and so there the is sour cream. That is that the curry chicken? Well, it should, it should be spicy. It'll probably yeah. hit. So we'll try the chip. Yeah, definitely that after aftertaste. Mmm. It's like a homemade lime chip. And it's got, with that salsa medley, that's really good. Yeah. Wow. Right out of the gate. Okay. So this one's wrapped. You got to kind of unwrap it to get to it. It's a little bit tricky, but hopefully it's worth it. We'll, we'll give it a cut here. Have a bit of and see what all is in it. Oh man, that's probably gonna fall apart, but we'll give it over there close. Looks like it's got a little meat in it. It's all corn wrapped, um, authentic uh, style. Yeah. And it's good. It's really good. I'm gonna get a little guac and salsa. I'm gonna go in for a second bite. It's it's worth unwrapping it, let me tell you. We were a little bit nervous if we could we could keep it somewhat okay on the on the channel for the trying to keep everything clean. I'm just gonna go in and grab a slice of this. Ooh. That's good. The ethnic foods are really nice. Look for them on the buffet because they do change throughout the day and throughout the trip. I've seen Indian, I've seen uh, you know South American, we've seen all kinds of all kinds of different ethnic foods from Mongolia, you name it. They've got it. So uh, it's really good. I'll just do a little bite of the bread. It's got a little sour cream on the on the bottom there, but I'll try to stay away from that. That was interesting. It's got like a guacamole layer of right cheese stuff. there. So yeah, that turkey focaccia. Really? It's good. Nice. We're having a nice lunch here. Okay. Well, I'll try the deep uh, dish. You got the deep the, dish, the deep dish pizza yeah. to go. I've, I've taken a sample bite of everything on my plate, but I'm going to go in for another bite of pizza while you're doing that. How does the deep dish compare to the thin crust? Both are equally, equally as good. It's good. I think I had the deep dish last night. That'll be on the dinner buffet, so be on the lookout for that one if you want to see the difference uh, between the dinner and the lunch buffet. We're really hungry, so we're going to finish these plates up, and then uh, we'll grab a dessert plate, and uh, we'll do our dessert sample, and then let you know what we think of the lunch buffet here on the seashore. Stick with us. All right, up next is our favorite part, usually, uh, desserts. So uh, what did you get for your two dessert trials, and then we'll do a switch? Yeah, I went uh, with the peanut butter cookie and the birthday cake slice with the raspberry. Okay, birthday cake and peanut butter cookie. I've got a cream cake, a chocolate mousse, and a, it looks like Fruit Loops, maybe it's not, uh, some type of Fruit Loop Rice Krispie uh, treat. So uh, we'll see how that goes. What are you going in for first? Uh, bite of the cake. I'm gonna try the cake? Yeah. Okay. I'll spin it around and try the Fruit Loops. I don't know if this is gonna fly or what it, what it will do if I try to stab it. Let's see. There we go. Oh boy, maybe I should have picked this one up. I think it's got like sprinkles uh, there mixed it is. in with it. Little, little sprinkles yeah. of fruit, hard to say. <laughs> You'll know when you give it a try. Okay, I got some of that uh, fruit and rice crispy treat there. How's the cake, fluffy? It's fluffy, definitely chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Little chocolate frost. This is interesting, it's like a rice crispy treat made out of fruit loops. I don't know what the sugar content on that is. I was gonna say how sugary does it taste? <laughs> like pure sugar. <laughs> Almost like uh, cotton candy, I would say, is the uh, is the sugar content on yeah. that. Uh, I think it even threw some sugar on it, just just a, a little just extra. A little yeah, a little extra sprinkle yeah. of sugar. That'll wake you up. Maybe just throw it right in the coffee in the morning. I don't know. Oh, uh, maybe not. There we go. Okay, maybe I'll save the raspberry for you. Oh, you want a raspberry I know. over there? So I'll save this raspberry for you. I'll just go right in for the cream cake. It looks like a nice white cake. It's got a little frost in the middle there. And uh, we'll see how it is. Mm -hmm. That is so light. It's just really light. It just like melts in your mouth as soon as you hit it hits the lips. It just it's just gone. And uh, really delicious. 
cookies good? Does the peanut butter come through? Oh, definitely. The peanut butter's it's coming got, through? Uh, yeah, like peanut butter chunks Chunky? in it. Oh, it's a chunk, like a chunky yeah. peanut butter. Okay, if you got a food allergy, just pay attention to the labels because this one does have mm -hmm. peanut butter in it. And then we've got that nice layered chocolate mousse right there. It's got a little chocolate stick in there, a couple of chocolate pieces. I'm just going to dip down, uh, just see if we can't get that uh, full layer there for a little sample bite. It looks really creamy, and uh, we'll give it a go. Mm-hmm. It's mocha. Oh. It's got a mocha flavor, nice. the chocolate chunk. I bet that dark chocolate stick will really finish it off mm -hmm. if you do a little nibble of that. But uh, let's go ahead and trade. Grab your spoon, okay. your spoon, your spoon, and we'll do a switcheroo. Ooh. And I'm gonna go right in for the for the birthday cake. And I'm gonna go with the fruit. Well, that's gonna be a no. tough cut. But good luck. I'll I'll start working on this cookie for a quick cook. Hey, I got a good piece pop right off there. Okay, so that's that chocolate or that peanut butter uh, cookie. We'll see how uh, how okay, it is. Let's see how sugar. And, and go for the go for the sugar treat. Mm-hmm. Wow. That cookie's a little dry. I mean, as far as like, you know how peanut butter sticks in your mouth? Yeah. It's got that going on. Might have to do a drink of water after that. It's really good if you really like peanut butter. This That's is definitely a great one. interesting. I don't know the last That's time something I had else. Fruit loops, I mean, you can yeah. make those at home, but definitely. oh boy. Marshmallow is just basically pure sugar, so. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a sugar fix, <laughs> that is the one I'm gonna have yeah. a little sip of water. Okay, I'm gonna go for the birthday cake. It's not my birthday, but hey, why not? This seems like it's gonna get be a little, very, very light. Yeah. Get a little slice of that cake. It's got a few sprinkles in it. It didn't have cinnamon or anything, did it? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, that is very light. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. The birthday cake's good. I think the chocolate mousse is probably my favorite out of those three, although that is also good. If you're looking for a non-chocolate option, did you try the chocolate mousse? I didn't yet. Give that chocolate mousse a try. I'll just try the, uh, I'm gonna try this copper right here. All three layers there. Yep, get a, get a good bite. Should we go in for the fruit, see if the fruit's fresh? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. It is, that's really good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That chocolate. Oh, look, it's got that mocha flavor, and the coffee really comes through. I'm gonna give them a 10 out of 10 on their desserts here on the buffet. We had a few desserts last night and they all really sing through. Yeah. The peanut butter tastes like peanut butter. The chocolate is really chocolatey. chocolatey. Uh, we had that, what was it, Death by Chocolate last oh, night? Yes. Try the Death by Chocolate if you like chocolate. <laughs> Holy smokes, was that good and chocolatey? Yes. And really, they have a they have a lot of great options if you're just looking for it. And for the price point, it's great. Uh, we talked to some people behind the scenes and they brought on five professional chefs onto this ship. Uh, the revamp in the whole buffet uh, and food system on MSC and they've really stepped it up uh, recently. We, not that we've enjoyed it in the past and we're enjoying it even more now. So uh, hats off to the staff uh, in the buffet and the food service area. They've really done a great job on board the Seascape here. We're very happy with the food we've had. We're very happy with the bar service we've had uh, so far. So those two those two uh, areas on the ship are getting a great, great review from us and the entertainment staff has also been great uh, so far. So thanks for joining us for this buffet review. If you'd like to see more buffets we have several on the channel i don't know how many we were discussing how many have we've done i know uh, it's probably getting close to 50 now so check those out if you like this one there's plenty of content out there uh, if you're new to the channel if you're one of our uh, loyal subscribers and uh leave us a comment let us know how long you've been a subscriber we're always we're always curious to see how long people follow us we'd like to know that information and anything you'd like to see uh mm -hmm. that you like on the channel let us know we'll do more of those videos for you uh in the future uh big thanks to everyone and we'll see you all very soon at the next buffet might be tomorrow. Bye, everybody.